Hi guys, welcome back again to another video. If you are new to this channel, my name is Waini. In today's video, I will pick up and I will also be doing unboxing for things I got from Kamukunji, which is a set of cookware. These are the links for the pots. So I started by to connect the handle with the lint and all yake then you just roll it and you are done So I did the same with the rest of the Funiko. I was done with everything so it was time now to kufunikia all the sufurias this is the first sufuria and this is the second pot and for these two, I'm pretty sure those sufrias the nyenda kwa natumia mostly because this is the size the sufria inye mi upika, chakule inye mi upika, so yeah. Then we have the third one, which kind of looks like a pan. It also has its lid. Then we have the fourth one, which is the same size like Funikoya. The pan in the Funikoya Kwaingi Kwa the fourth pot. But I'm very happy that Waliaka Kila ni moji ikona Funikoya. Then we have the last pot, the big one. And that is everything that I got from Kamukunji and this set comes with a free Muiko Muiko Mbili and this set went for 75 and I really love it it's worth the money so if you are considering to get a cooking set please consider to get this Maybe cheaper, but for me, I try my best. I will 
so this is the everything that you'll need in this recipe i have my dania i have dania stems onions pili pili hoho the green one i have my tomato paste we have curry powder of course because we are cooking beef curry then we have spices paprika we have soy sauce salt i'm going to use this to thicken my stew if you are cooking cream you can use it i have my tomatoes then we have our beef so let's start by cooking the beef so nilianza na kupika nyama I gave this a few minutes like 5 minutes then I added oil enough oil to cook my onions then we added in our onions I used two medium ones then we also had dania stems at this point As for the leaves we will be using them way way later just to garnish our food so give this a mix Then we are going to cover and wait for that to cook then minutes later we add our tomato paste Remember your tomato paste need to cook so that it can we can get rid of that paste test. Give this a mix. Then we add our spices, that's paprika. Then mix spices. Then our curry powder. Then our salt, just little bit of it, just not to me our soy. Remember, it's salted. Give this a mix. Add a little bit of water. So for my spices and tomato paste to cook then i <coughs> i later had in my turmeric just a little bit of it for the color feel free to use more spices or less if you love spices of all if you have a type of spice that you like nasija to me kindly feel free to add it then our two tomatoes give this a mix then we are going to cover then we added our soy sauce added in my soy sauce gave this a mix this is about 1 tablespoon mixed everything nicely then we are going to cover for this to cook
few minutes later as you can see nyama yetu imepikika hadi nyanya zimepika nicely I'm going to add in my pilipili oho then mix everything nicely the reason si kuweka pilipili oho time nilikuwa naeka nyanya ni si kwa nataka zipike hadi zi lose the color little bit of water Then we are going to cover this to cook for at least 2 to 3 minutes. 3 minutes later. Now that everything is cooked nicely, it is time we add in our cream. That should be enough. Mix, mix everything. Few minutes later. You can see, as you can see, our am choosing the thicken. Now it's time I test whether the salt is enough, and it wasn't. So niliongeza kidogo. And our food was ready at this time. So you can see, I'm just adding in my dania. Then we offer our gas so that we can plate our food. And as you can see, this beef curry is looking so yummy. Thanks for watching up to this end. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. And I'll see you in my next one.